Oh, what does STEM mean? Oh, that's, that's hard. What, what does STEM mean? Well, remember, Elmo, it's science, science technology, um, yeah. engineering, and the M's the easy one. Math! There you go. Math. Oh, do you like math? <laughs> yeah, Elmo loves math. You like math? Yeah, because Elmo likes to count. Well, can you count yeah. for me a little? Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 19, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Is math fun? Yeah, math is a lot of fun because you add things. You can use it when you're cooking. Mmm, yeah, right. like you know, if you're going to use two eggs or three eggs, stuff like that. Why is it important to get kids excited about STEM, about science, technology, engineering, math, and why is Sesame Street trying to make this part of the season this year? Well, as a nation, we recognize we're falling behind in these areas, and it's always been Sesame Street's tradition to sort of give kids a, a head start, a leg up, and when you actually boil down the STEM curriculum, right, Elmo, it's, it's perfect for preschoolers because it's about asking questions and investigating and experimenting, and experimenting. right, and that's how you learn. Ex experimenting. It's a big word, <laughs> Elmo. You've learned some words like, I've been told you've learned about amphibian. Mm -hmm. And balance. Yeah, and ingredient. Ingredient. And liquid. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you learning these words? Because they're really cool words, and it's, it's really fun to learn what they mean. You also learned engineer. What's an engineer? Well, that, when, you, when, you, when you build something, you engineer. So it's creative. Yeah, it's creative. Not necessar oh, that's a good word, creative. Yeah, and not necessarily <laughs> static numbers and yeah. math and tables, but something that you're trying to show kids is part of learning and part of life. It is. It's very physical. STEM is fun. It's uh, physical fun. It's about testing out things. And, and any question kids have, we encourage parents not to answer the questions that kids have, but, but explore the answers with their kids together. It's called Let's Find Out, right? Let's Find Out. Yeah. Exactly. Tell me about Let's technology and how that's helping with this, too, because, you know, kids... Little kids know how to use, I don't know, maybe you do or don't, Elmo, but have you ever seen an iPad or oh, a yeah, cell I phone like yeah. or computers? A cell phone, yeah, a computer, yeah. So the kids are really exposed to this stuff, and technology can really help in this whole process. It absolutely can. It's very appealing to kids. But what we learn is that technology isn't just the iPads or, or cell phones. It's also um, everyday objects mm. can be uh, a lever, right? We learn all yeah, about levers. Lever, yeah. That a fork can be a lever. Mm -hmm. And, and Seven um, Foster sang a song about a lover. That's right. She's, a whole, from, a she's, whole song. she's in musicals. Ooh. <laughs> you also did some cool experience with some experiments with experiments. some of your new friends. Um, cool people like uh, actor James Marsden, mm -hmm. Andy Samberg from Saturday Night Live. <laughs> yeah. uh, whoa, what was your favorite <laughs> experiment? <laughs> hmm. There were so many of them. There were a lot. These, um, what was the one that Robin Williams did? Oh, Robin, we had fun with Robin Williams, and it's it's um, balance. You learn balance from who? Emma Stone. Yeah. Remember? Wow. Yeah. And you even got to go into a recording studio, sing along with someone who looked just like Justin Bieber, yeah, right? Yeah, kind of like Justin, and kind of sang <laughs> like him, too. What did it have to do with, with shrimp, I'm told? Well, it was measure, measuring, measuring. He was measuring a shrimp and an elephant. Look at that. Oh, that does look like Justin Bieber. Mm -hmm. How cool. Carol, Carol and people watching at home, what can they do to help their kids get excited about STEM? Well, you know, it really, it's just such a, a wonderful curriculum for preschoolers. So when they, when your kids ask questions, and they do all the time, because that's what, that's what preschoolers do, it's how they navigate their world, in, engage with your kids, um, you know, do the, uh, answer the question, don't answer the questions, but um, experiment and um, test and find out what the answers are for yourself. Oh, Elmo, and what are you going to learn this year? You're everything. three and a half. Elmo can't wait. <laughs> Elmo wants to learn everything. You want to be excited about everything. Yeah, it's important. Oh, you know Elmo. what? Because Elmo wants to be a teacher. <gasps> you do? Yeah, because Elmo knows how important they are. Oh, Elmo, we think you're so precocious. Oh, really? Yes. Wow, that's a big word. It is a big word. That that's a big telling. word. Maybe next year we'll learn yeah. that one. Maybe Precocious. next year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Elmo, it's wonderful to see you. Have a wonderful weekend. Can I have a kiss, please? Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks, Elmo. Thanks Carolyn. for having us. Nice to have you, too. Thank and you everybody, remember, this episode has been brought to you by STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, and